In this Excel file, I've got several sheets with pivot tables. They're all based on the same pivot table data. This one has one pivot table with item and region, another sheet that has two pivot tables, and on this third sheet, we've got one pivot table. I've got programming in this workbook so that if I change the item that's selected here, so instead of desk, I would like to look at pen set. But it also changed the setting for item in this pivot table, the other pivot table on that sheet, and on the region pivot table sheet. On this region reports, I don't have the programming added yet. Here is normal pivot table behavior. If I change it to pen, it doesn't affect the others. They're still showing pen set. You can download a sample file on my website contextures.com. It will show you the code. I'm going to add the code to this worksheet so you can see how to add it in your own file. If you're on YouTube, the description below has a link to the sample file page. So the code hasn't been added to region reports worksheet yet, so I'll right click on that sheet tab and click view code. And that opens up the Visual Basic Editor. I can see that I'm on the region reports sheet and there's no code here yet. To get the code, I'll just go to one of the other sheets where I've got the code added. So I'll double click on sheet four, sales pivot. You can see the code here runs whenever there's a pivot table update. It also will capture which pivot table will change and that is the target variable. So I can use that in my code as well. The code finds out what sheet we're on and which pivot table was changed. And then we turn off events and screen updating and that just makes things go faster and a little more smoothly. We we look at each page field, which are the report filters, in the pivot table that we changed. We also check to see whether the enable multiple page items setting is on or off. So we're going to capture that and make it the same in all the pivot tables. Then we run through the worksheets. So for each worksheet in this workbook worksheets, we go to each pivot table on that worksheet to make sure that it's not the same worksheet and pivot table that we originally changed. And if it's not, then and we set manual update to true. That also makes things run a bit faster. And then we go through the page fields clear the filters. If the multiple items is turned off, then we just select whatever page field was selected in the one that we changed. Otherwise, we change the setting to all and then go through each pivot item and make it the same setting as the pivot table we changed. Then we put the multiple page items setting to whatever that setting is in the pivot table that we've changed. So we want to copy all of this code into the region reports module. I just click somewhere in this module module and on the keyboard I'll type control A and that will select all the code and then I can copy it either with a control C or I can click the copy button here then go to the region reports tab and when I did control A it would also have copied this option explicit line so I'll just highlight that before I paste now I'm going to click paste or you can press control V to paste that code into this worksheet I'll close the visual basic editor now that I've added the code to the region reports sheet, if I make a change here, it will affect all the other pivot tables in this workbook. So instead of pen, I can select desk, click OK, and it's changed to desk here. Both pivot tables on that sheet and item has changed on the first sheet as well. To download the sample file, so you can see the code, go to contextures.com. If you're on YouTube, there's a link in the description below that will take you to the exact page where you can find the sample file.